Have you ever had a gut feeling about something? There may be a physiological basis for that. Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Nathan Bryan, international expert in molecular medicine and nitric oxide biochemistry. The gut microbiome has been called the second brain. Obviously our first brain is found in our head, the second brain is found in our gut. And it's the microbiome, the bacteria that make up the ecology of the entire gut. And so there's co direct communication between the gut microbiome and the first brain, brain activity. So when we have a gut feeling about something, it's telling us that there's communication. But when we develop dysbiosis, leaky gut syndrome, and we're eating foods or taking antibiotics or exposed to things that are destroying the microbiome, we lose that communication and we start to develop mental disease or neurological disease. A key component of that is the production of nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is produced by the microbiome. Nitric oxide is essential for, for production in the brain to maintain normal blood flow and to maintain neurotransmission. So if there's a disruption in the microbiome, a disruption in nitric oxide production, we start to see a disconnect. Nitric oxide is the signal that tells the body to dilate blood vessels, to improve neurotransmission, to get glucose into the cell, and to mitigate inflammation, oxidative stress, and immune dysfunction. So maintain that gut feeling. Optimal health, optimal neurological function, optimal cognitive health is dependent upon our microbiome. Not only our gut microbiome, but our oral microbiome. So what does that mean? Foods that can disrupt the oral microbiome. If you're lactose intolerant, if you introduce new foods that your body, body may not be used to, it completely changes the microbiome. Today we know there's data showing that the more diverse the, the microbiome, the better the function, the better the ecology. So only use antibiotics if it's absolutely necessary. Get rid of antiseptic mouthwash, wean off of antacids, and then eat a balanced diet in moderation, high in fiber, low in sugar, good quality fats, high in protein. And now we can reconnect the second brain with the first brain and your body will thank you for it.